So our last fellow elect is Professor Robert White, Professor of Criminology, School of Sociology and Social Work and Director of the Criminology Research Unit at the University of Tasmania. Well, <clears throat> I'm very pleased and honoured and in fact fascinated to be here tonight. Um, so thank you very much. Uh, and that's it. Oh, okay. Um, I have three minutes, so I want to talk about three countries briefly. I want to talk about three topics less briefly, but still briefly. Uh, the three countries are Germany, which is the country of my birth, Canada, the country which I grew up in, and Australia, where I've spent most of my life. And sometimes I refer to myself as a mongrel, and sometimes I refer to myself as an internationalist. But basically, there's certainly an international flavor to my up upbringing and career. Uh, the three topics, what I've been engaged in over the last few years are basically the area of youth studies. I have a particular current interest in issues relating to children and vulnerability in the context of neoliberalism. A second strand within the youth studies area is the hyper-incarceration of Indigenous young people in Australia, which is a national and international disgrace. Um, so that's one strand, youth studies. A second strand of work is green criminology. And here I have two projects of, of interest particularly. One is on climate change, ecocide and crimes of the powerful. Uh, ecocide is, is a push to have that recognized internationally as a crime against humanity. Uh, it is perpetrated through the nexus of corporations and states and basically it is affecting all of us here today. A second project under green criminology relates to how the Environment Court, particularly in New South Wales, conceptualizes environmental harm in the context of non-human environmental victims. So basically, if we want to extend rights or standing or status to non -human, the non-human world, um, then how does the court, in fact, interpret environmental harm in relation to the non-human environmental victim? The third area of interest is innovative justice, and here, we have some work that we're doing on the greening of justice, looking at, for example, the way in which we can have sustainable and energy efficient forms of, of criminal justice, whether it be courtrooms or having your cops on the bicycles. Uh, but in fact, that has major implications for the practice of policing. So if it's, you can't get geared up in paramilitary, paramilitary gear if you're riding a bicycle. And so from the point of view of community policing, in fact, it's, it's more significant than it may first appear. The second area of interest in the area of innovative justice is the question of extremism. But the question is this. We can arrest terrorists. We can put them into our prisons. But they are coming out. So what do we do with the extremists and what do we do with the perpetrators of hate crimes um, whilst we have them under arrest and in detention? So the question is, uh, they're not going to go away. So what can we do within our criminal justice systems to address issues of, of terrorism and extremism? And that is it. So thank you. <laughs>